A parallel universe has haunted not only the scientists, but us too for a very long time. Until 2020, when the news broke out that NASA has finally detected a proof for a parallel universe. A universe where time runs backwards. And if you are thinking that it's just a conspiracy, then buckle up. Today, we are going to unravel the truth behind the parallel universe. Have we really found one? If not, what else can it be? This universe is immensely large and it has shown many signs for a possible another one like ours. To understand this, let's go back to the creation of this universe. Our universe with its hundreds of billions of galaxies and nearly innumerable stars spanning tens of billions of light years isn't the only one, according to multiverse theory. There could be many more each with its own set of different laws of physics and fundamental constants than ours, collections of stars and galaxies, and possibly even its own civilization. Because the observable universe only stretches as far as light has traveled in 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang, space-time beyond that distance can be considered a separate universe. A large number of universes coexist in this way, creating a massive patchwork quilt of realities. This concept may be difficult to believe, but it is based on good physics. There isn't just one path to a multiverse. Several physics theories lead in that direction independently. In fact, some experts believe that hidden worlds are more likely to exist than not. If the multiverse theory is correct, another universe exists that is identical to our own. It is known that other universes could arise from a theory called eternal inflation. The idea of inflation is that the cosmos expanded quickly after the Big Bang, inflating like a balloon. The inflation didn't end everywhere at the same time. While it ended for everything that we can detect from Earth 13.8 billion years ago, cosmic inflation, in fact, continues in other places. This inflationary principle indicates that, like a huge balloon, the cosmos expanded rapidly after the Big Bang. When the process of inflation was taking place on such a massive level, different pockets of space might have stopped inflating at different times, while other regions continue to inflate. This gave rise to multiple isolated bubble universes. These other bubble universes could have migrated away from us, well beyond our ability to observe. It might have been away from our ability to observe, but not anymore, when news broke out and created headlines across the world that a NASA experiment has indicated the possibility of a parallel universe. With this, Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA, also suddenly came into the limelight, and the cosmic ray shower that was key to the new discovery was a part of NASA's ANITA and Ice Cube experiment taking place in Antarctica. NASA's ANITA instrument is a radio telescope that uses a scientific balloon to detect ultra-high energy cosmic ray neutrinos. It entails an array of radio antennas attached to a helium balloon that flies at 37,000 meters above the Antarctic ice sheet. The antennas can listen to the cosmos and detect high energy particle neutrinos from such a high altitude, which constantly bombard the planet. ANITA is the first NASA observatory for neutrinos of any kind. The experiment was prepared in Manoa, Hawaii. Its goal was to catch radio waves emitted by neutrinos, a type of extremely elusive subatomic particle that hurls onto Earth from space and collides with atoms in the ice. Between 2006 and 2016, a balloon suspended its retro space cluster of radio antennas and solar panels to monitor a large area above Antarctica in four flights. The question here is why scientists studied neutrinos, or why it was an important part of the experiment and discovery. Astrophysicists are fascinated by neutrinos because they are the only particles that can reach Earth at all energies without being attunated. This is especially important at high energies, where other particles and photons interact with microwave background photons, preventing them from propagating and surviving over long astrophysical distances. To put it another way, if you want to see the ultra-high energy universe, you should view it through the light of neutrinos. 
But before we get into the result of Anita, understand this. Because of the Ascarian effect, neutrinos with energies in the order of 10 to the 18th EV or electron volt produce radio pulses in the ice. These high-energy cosmic neutrinos are thought to be the result of ultra-high-energy cosmic rays colliding with photons and the cosmic microwave background radiation. The ANITA experiment was thus hoped to assist in explaining the origin of these cosmic rays. So, over the years, a handful of anomalous events have been detected by ANITA. Instead of coming from space, the high-energy neutrinos appear to have come from an unusual angle, passing through the Earth's interior before hitting the detector. That much is true. Our current understanding of physics cannot explain these findings. The ANITA anomalies drew cautious attention from the elementary particle physics community. They are one of the few findings that contradict the established theoretical framework. But any overlooked issues with the experiment itself could likely produce a similar result. So while the ANITA team was re-examining its data, other researchers were pointing out possible explanations. Another experiment was working on cross-checking the ANITA results, and theorists were publishing ideas about new physics phenomena that could explain the anomalies that had been observed. The latter was crucial in turning the findings from a niche curiosity to a worldwide internet sensation a few years later. The discovery of a parallel universe by NASA. But was it really the parallel universe, or the scientists might have discovered something never observed before? They explained that low-energy neutrinos can pass undetected through the planet's crust, molten rock, and iron. However, they lacked the power to generate the signals seen in Antarctica. The reason why Antarctica was chosen for the experiment was that it is free from any man-made radiations. When ANITA was created, it was intended to track down an unusual event predicted by the standard model. High-energy tau neutrinos, one of three neutrino flavors, the others being electron and muon neutrinos, are one of the standard model's most elusive particles. Deep space neutrinos should be hitting Earth fairly frequently. They are, however, difficult to detect. Anita can tell the difference between a tau neutrino and a basic cosmic ray. The shapes of the radio waves flip when they strike the ice and bounce up at Anita. Anita sees the reflected down-up-down-up of the cosmic ray instead of the usual up-down-up-down of a tau glancing through the ice. As they bounce off the ice, these cosmic ray signals can hit Anita from any direction. The two Anita anomalies fell into neither of these categories. Anita detected the unmirrored waveform up down up down in each case, indicating a tau neutrino. However, the wave hit Anita at such a sharp angle that it would have had to pass through an impossibly thick chunk of Earth to arrive without bouncing. It was a signal that the detector's designers hadn't anticipated when they built it, and it hinted at the possibility of new, unknown particles bursting forth from Antarctica. This is just one proof. Parallel universes and multiverses are frequently discussed in connection with other key scientific concepts such as the Big Bang, string theory, and quantum mechanics. Parallel universes, according to some researchers, are based on quantum physics which is the mathematical description of subatomic particles. Now, if we consider quantum mechanics theory, multiple universes may emerge as an alternative possibility. Richard Feynman's approach to quantum field theory is one such example. As a weighted sum of alternative histories, he introduced the possibility of reality. According to this theory, the overall behavior of two electrons, as they approach, deflect, and scatter, must account for every possible intermediate path, which should be weighed based on its likelihood of occurring. Another way to consider it is to try to predict how tired someone will be after a walk in the woods by assuming they will split up and take every possible route. The shortest, and thus most likely, path would be prioritized, but all options would have to be considered. It was further proposed that as particles interact each time, reality splits into a number of parallel streams, each reflecting a distinct possible result. As a result, 
researchers watching a quantum experiment would break up into numerous selves as well. Each version of the researcher would believe they were the actual thing and be completely unaware of the presence of the others. Yet again, it seems like the mystery has not been solved. Groham, who is the principal investigator of Anita, told Science Alert, We have encountered a small number of anomalies in our data, and once we have exhausted all of the possible explanations within the standard model of physics, only then is it time to consider other ideas that push those boundaries. We are really not there yet, certainly not to the point where parallel universes are necessary. What do you think about parallel universes? Do you believe that in some other universe, a version of you might also be watching the same video? Let us know in the comments.